I, I know they're not twins, but they, in a way they are. And their whole life experience has been within the shadow of the other person. There's very little that's happened to any one of them that the other has not been privy to, maybe even an eyewitness to. And so if you try to marry into that arrangement, it would be a very unique arrangement, to say the least. It would have to be two, two, two brothers. I'm getting married in November. Yeah. Congrats. Where are you going to live? <laughs> Forgotten me already? God, no, you're the lady with the lovely kitchen. Uh huh. Lizzie Bradbury, right? Uh, and you're? Uh, Peter, Peter uh, Colt. Nice to meet you, Peter, Peter Colt. Five quid says you can't do it again. I don't think my career has really gone as planned. Oh, you just need a break. I think it's important to be lucky in anything. Well, I don't believe in luck. I believe in hard work. Mm. Oh, hard work is mandatory, but I think everybody's afraid to admit what a big part luck plays. I mean, it seems scientists are confirming more and more that all existence is here by blind chance. No purpose, no design. Well, I don't care. I love every minute of it. <laughs> and I envy you for it. What was it the, uh, the vicar used to say? Despair is the path of least resistance. <laughs> it was something odd, wasn't it? It was very I think strange. that faith is the path of least resistance. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. God. Can we change the subject, please? No, I was talking about acting, which is mm. much more interesting. No, I was just saying that I think I'm giving acting a second thought. Just can't bear people in my hometown to think I failed. Not that I'm ever going back to Colorado, ever. Have you decided on a wine? Two bottles of Pouligny Montrachet. Put her there. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love women in the bedroom and in the kitchen. But That's these days, home. they want to be everywhere. They want to be doing everything. Where is it going to end? Pretty soon, us fellas aren't going to be able to go to a ball game. We're not going to be able to go fishing. We're not going to be able to stop and have a drink after work. And that's what this whole women's lit <laughs> thing is about. And it's got to stop. And Bobby Riggs is the man to stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Custer's last stand. This is the lover versus the lever. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, Bobby. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's going to be when you lose. <laughs> well, I'm the ladies number one. I'm the champ. Why would I lose? Because well, dinosaurs can't play tennis. <laughs> I'm going to put the show back in chauvinism. You want to check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. Now, I understand you got to do your job, even if some crazy neighbor do call talking foolishness and i don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids you know why because we are that's our job to keep them off these streets you want to arrest us for that fine but what you're not gonna never do is come knock on this door talking about you had to blow their brains out in them streets because they running with hoodlums and doing drugs and things that's what you're not never gonna say in this house you want to arrest us for that that's fine. You need to be arresting them parents at them tennis matches. That's who need to be getting arrested. 